Mike Wessels held Elon Soccer's career goals mark at 43. The key word is held. Then came Chris Thomas, who as a senior broke Wessels' record in Elon's win against West Virginia. Off a goal kick, it was a scrappy game, the ball was just getting deflected, ended up coming to Gabe's feet, and 99% of the time I know if I'm making a run, Gabe's going to play it to me, and he did. I was able to chip it over the keeper and tie the game. Chris took the goal very well. Um, it was a great ball by Gabe Latigue. Um, and Chris got between two very good centre-backs. I um, was approaching the goalkeeper and flicked it over him and, and it was a very, very good goal. Thomas had 30 goals coming into the season, 10 in each of his first three, but had 10 goals in his first seven games this year. He's picked up his play tremendously in his senior season, not just as a scorer, but as a player and teammate overall. I think Chris this year has had a great approach. His character's been very good, his attitude's been very good. Now he's... Um, matured as a good, good leader, good young man, and um, he, he's taking all those little things on board. He makes a lot of good runs when you're on the field, and he makes it easy for you to find him. And, you know, he'll get you those assists, so we look to find him and knowing that he will score the goal. Thomas has been racking up awards throughout the season, including SoCon Player of the Week, SoCon Player of the Month, and even College Soccer News National Player of the Week. While all of the achievements are nice, his focus is still on the team and their success. I try not to think about it too much because I, I hate just thinking about it. If I keep thinking about it going into the next game, it messes up my mindset. I just try and think about what, what we need to do next for the team. I'm glad that's happening, but I just I want our team's getting recognized, actually. That's what it really means most to me. Well, of course, um, we're all excited for him. Um, it's, it's always a good feeling to know that you know, you're around when your teammates you know, um, breaking records and that you can, you help him do that as well. After being named Southern Conference Player of the Year as a sophomore, Thomas came off the bench for a part of his junior season. This greatly motivated him and it's shown from his play this year. Last year, Chris um, was recovering from a knee injury, um, was struggling to get, get himself in, in proper shape and ready to be game ready. I think early in the year it just helped him, assisted him trying to get better. Um, I think. Chris, coaches, everyone around wanted him to, to improve his game and be ready for the team. I couldn't tell you how many meetings I had with the coaches about, uh, about why, because I was, of course I was frustrated. Um, I had many meetings with them and they, they, th they told me, called me out for what I needed to do and why I wasn't playing and I really, I really um, took a mental note of that during the summer. I think he refocused his energy in terms of making sure he was healthy and fit and um, I think you know, with it being his senior year, wanted to go out, in, you know, in, in, in a good fashion. And also, he's got aspirations to play maybe after college. And, you know, he knows if, if that's going to be a reality, he's got to do it every single day, uh, every single game to give himself that opportunity. This summer, when, uh, when I found out that I would have an opportunity to play next level, which I really want to do, I decided to step it up. Thomas has been the fire of the Phoenix this year, as Elon claimed their first national ranking since 2006 earlier in the season. If Thomas and the Phoenix can continue to play at a high level, they'll be tough to stop come Southern Conference tournament time.